Meanwhile, the Thunder Bay District Health Unit is concerned about an early flu season with COVID cases expected to rise. The health unit is recommending that people keep up to date with their flu and COVID vaccines to help mitigate the spread. Vasilios Bellows reports. Flu season is upon us with many cases already being recorded this month. The first infections usually come in early November, and this is a concern for the health unit as flu season will tie in with an increase in COVID cases, both a result of changing behaviors as temperatures drop. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Janet DeMille says these infections will be monitored as another spike would have a significant impact on the region. We're going to really put a lot of pressure uh, and cause a lot of disruption. So, you know, in schools and workplaces, but most notably, of course, the concern is going to be in the hospitals and, and acute care and other health care. And we've already seen that, right? We've already seen and heard uh, about the pressures in the health care system. Considering the projected uptick in cases, DeMille is strongly recommending people keep up with their COVID and flu shots. She recognizes there is public frustration with the virus and vaccines, but says the new bivalent vaccine available for those 12 and up specifically will tackle the evolving and highly contagious Omicron strain. In the studies that have been done, it shows that it, it has a higher antibody response with these vaccines to Omicron. And given that the next subvariants are expected to be versions of Omicron, it will give them additional protection. And with Election Day just around the corner, DeMille provided some guidance for those looking for a safer voting experience. Consider going at times where it may be a bit uh, lower volumes going through. Um, and certainly uh, two meter distance and masking would be an important part, especially if it's crowded. Vasilios Bolos, TBT News.